So first we got Gangster Magic, a game where you play as a dreadlock trenchcoat wearing gangster and flew around launching fireballs at demons. Next we had Souls Land, a souls like where enemies popped out of existence when you killed them and souls were completely useless. And now from the mentalist that brought us those games comes Lawnmower Mortal Race, a game which sees you tear assing around trap filled levels atop a lawnmower. And if this concept seems familiar to you, that's because the previous entries in the series were published by Ultimate Games. Now I never had the pleasure of playing those titles, but I was looking forward to diving into this bundle of insanity. So drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're one of the 85% of my audience who watch my content regularly but have not yet done so, and let's get into it. So as expected, no storyline with Law Mower Mortal Race, but let's be honest, what possible narrative could you spin to explain the concept of this one? Right off the bat though, we're presented with a completely silent main menu, and a level select featuring a whopping 25 stages, which as I've come to expect from this developer, can be played in any order. Dropping into our first race though, we can see that we're playing as Dryden Mitchell from Alien Ant Farm, complete with his signature line shave down the middle of the head haircut, which he tried to get trending in the 90s but was far too silly for anyone to actually adopt. Putting pedal to the metal though, I instantly ran into an invisible barrier. And let me tell you now, the collision boxes in this game are friggin massive, and it's a challenge in itself just to navigate through them, so get used to watching me crash into shit. The controls are extremely simple though. Hit ZR to accelerate, ZL to brake, and the B button to activate your handbrake, which you'll definitely be needing, as the natural turning circle of your lawnmower is absolutely atrocious. Anyway, the concept with this one is as simple as it comes. Race your way through levels on your lawnmower the best you can, attempting to avoid invisible barriers and the plethora of obstacles you face, and try to beat the 60 second timer. Sounds easy, doesn't it? Well, thanks to some overzealous hitboxes, dodgy physics and mismatched terrain whose construction is like someone has tried to piece together 10 different jigsaw puzzles, it's far from it and it took me a whole 6 minutes to beat the game's second level. Working your way through them though, you'll have to remember exactly which one you're on, as there's no way to quit out of them once you start one, which isn't an issue to begin with, but becomes a little more problematic towards the latter levels when the dev goes a little apeshit with the hazard placements. Now the levels themselves are constructed from store-bought Unity assets, and again as expected they have absolutely no consistency when it comes to the themes, with some of them being pre-made environments, including the two level assets used in the Drunken Fist games, while others are a mishmash of random objects and terrain, strewn together to form tracks, which like in previous games, you may or may not have to adhere to. Overall though, there is a decent amount of variety to the game's tracks. Some of them feature tight corridors and tactically placed hazards which you need to wind your way through carefully. Others have you racing across floating platforms a la Mario Kart with pits and jumps for you to navigate across. And finally there are a few which are much more open, where the tracks are merely a suggestion and you can usually just head directly to the finish flag. Now the level of difficulty the tracks present is extremely inconsistent from one to the next, and amongst the hazards you'll find spinning buzzsaw blades which often move erratically, bombs which generally just act as obstructions for you to navigate around, and finally these weird plant things which spit bombs out at you if you get too close to them. And in some levels these hazards present a significant challenge and will be the primary reason for you not reaching the end goal in time, as you're given three lives with which to play with, and losing all of them due to either hazards or simply running out of time will see your character explode and flop out of his lawnmower with his spaghetti legs flailing all over the shore. It's worth noting that some levels also feature these boost pickups, which you would think would be there to help you, but in fact hitting these things is the worst thing you could possibly do, as they're often placed in terrible locations and simply result in you being launched uncontrollably into hazards or off the edge of platforms, with the one exception being this long straight corridor level. 
by far the biggest struggle you're going to have though is with the game's physics, which are pretty screwed to say the least, and the laws of gravity simply don't apply in the world of lawnmower mortal race. Your lawnmower takes a while to get up to speed, which often leaves you a sitting duck if you bump into obstacles, and once you actually gain some speed it becomes impossible to control, with you sliding all over the show like you've just stepped in dog shit and then tried to walk on a marble floor, and it's this slipping and sliding which resulted in me failing most levels, as it generally just feels like you're racing on ice throughout the majority of the game. Aside from this, level terrain also has a major impact on your ability to drive, minor bumps will often send you off course or leave you stranded and unable to move, and by far the worst levels are the desert ones, whose terrain is far too uneven for your poor lawnmower to handle, but level construction in general is just pretty dodgy. All in all though, I didn't really have too much difficulty with completing levels, and was able to work my way through all 25 of them in about an hour, so the game isn't particularly long, and I really think it could have done with some kind of leaderboard, or at least recorded your fastest times on tracks, which would have definitely contributed towards its replayability. So far as my overall opinions on gameplay go though, it's actually not too bad. Kind of like a simple version of Guts and Glory without the enjoyment of ragdoll physics or gore and much more generic level designs, but I could see this one being a bit of a laugh if you were to stick it on for a bunch of friends, possibly after drinking a few litres of vodka or consuming some kind of other legally obtainable psychedelic substance. To touch on the visuals and audio, like I said, thematically any kind of consistency has gone out of the window when it comes to art styles, and we get a mixture of low poly and realistic looking assets, all thrown together, often with little effort to make things line up correctly, resulting in overlapping textures or large gaps, but at least the game performs decent on the Switch in terms of its frame rate. When it comes to audio, not much to report here, we get some simple sound effects and a random selection of music which generally just sits there and behaves itself, though rather randomly there was this one level which out of nowhere features some ridiculously dramatic music. Now when all said and done, I definitely feel like Lawnmower Mortal Race is the most complete title yet from the dev, which is not really saying a lot, but at least it has some kind of structure to it and actually feels as though someone has tried to make a game rather than a testbed for some kind of prototype. Is it a good game? Not really, there are still plenty of issues when it comes to its structure and basic gameplay mechanics. But it's a damn sight better than some of the other shite I've played on the Switch, and I did enjoy my playthrough of this one, so I'm gonna be kind and when it comes to a rating, give it 2 out of 5 stars. Now, the dev is not known for producing quality products, and most of his games feel like incomplete experiments which he's produced while learning the Unity ropes and decided to release them as fully fledged games. But in comparison to the asset flippers and scammers which plague the Switch, you can see that there has actually been some effort put into creating them, and this is something that I support, so consider chucking him a couple of quid and picking up his games, as they're pretty shy but also quite entertaining in their own right. With that said though, that's about all for this review of Lawnmower Mortal Race, so hit that like button if it helped you out and you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel if you're looking for more Switch related content, and as always, thanks once again for watching, take care of yourselves, and game on.